It's the final week of the college football regular season, and that means it's time for our final regular season press pass brought to you by our friends at Robbins Motor Company. We're coming at you from the WTC Gig Powered Studios here in Manhattan. From GoPowerCat.com, I'm Riley Gates. Kansas State comes into the final game of 2019 ready to face the Iowa State Cyclones, who also at 7-4 and four prove to be a very tough challenge for the Wildcats. On defense, Iowa State's run defense ranks at the top of the Big 12, number one, averaging just over 120 yards a game allowed. And on the offensive side of the ball, Brock Purdy and the Cyclones can put up points at ease. Kansas State knows that on both sides of the ball, the Wildcats are going to have their hands full in terms of stopping both Iowa State's defense from shutting them down and from stopping the offense from exploding for too many points. They've, they've lost a couple of close games that I, that I know of. I, I remember I remember watching the Baylor game or the end of the Baylor game. They had a chance to win, and I think we, we got home in time one time to see the end of the Oklahoma game. So they're always in games, um, but it's an extremely well-coached football team. Uh, Matt Campbell does a phenomenal job uh, with the players and his staff does a great job. So much respect for Matt and the players believe and buy into what what they're being taught and they defensively they're just so sound. They don't miss fits. They run to the football extremely well. They're physical and then offensively I, I'm just so impressed with Brock Purdy. I think he's a phenomenal football player that uh, I love watching as we watch tape and stuff. I'm not going to probably like watching him live as much, but he's a fun guy to watch because he just makes plays all over the field. He's, he's a really good elusive guy in the pocket. He's got really good surroundings. He knows who's getting pressured and he can scramble for yards and he's good at making plays downfield. So it's especially like important this week to make sure we have good pass rush lanes so he can't just get those easy yardages on us and to stop him on third down. Prior to the 2019 season, K-State was picked to finish ninth in the Big 12 ahead of only Kansas. Now as we sit here today, the Wildcats are 7-4 and four overall and have a chance to win an eighth game in 2019, which would make Chris Kleiman the only coach in K-State history to win eight games in his first season at the helm. The Wildcats understand what type of opportunity this means and what it could do for their bowl situation moving forward if they could win an eighth game. It's crazy to think that uh, night and day, you know, being a bowl eligible um, this year compared to last year, I mean, that's always a good thing. But um, there's some games we wish we could have won this year. I think we could have done better. But uh, being bowl eligible, going into senior day, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with where our team's sitting and where the program's sitting, you know, how Coach Kleiman and his staff are going to build off this year after we're gone as well. We have a, a great opportunity, you know, that we've, we've created for ourselves and you know, as you mentioned, we, we've already created, you know, the opportunity to get back to a bowl, which is a huge, you know, step forward after after last year, not reaching that. Um, but yeah, this this game is extremely important. I mean, getting to eight and four, you know, finishing in a tie for third in the Big 12 would be would be huge for us and a great start, um, you know, f to build on what we've already done this season to finish it off, really. Be huge. I mean, it'd show everyone that don't judge something. Uh, based off of last season or whatever it's a new season no matter what like for Alabama like being ranked first I mean, anything can happen really I mean I'm not saying that we're Alabama or anything but I mean anything can happen don't judge anything off of last season it's a new season we went hard we went to work this summer and I mean, the results are showing. Prior to this game between the Wildcats and Cyclones, 27 Wildcat seniors will hear their name called and honored in front of 50,000 fans at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Players like Trey Deshaun, Denzel Goolsby, Adam Holtorf, they'll all play their final game here in Manhattan, and the Wildcats know that while it might not be their final game of their football careers, the last one here in Manhattan is sure going to be a special one and probably tough to swallow given that they will never play in front of this crowd once again. It, it's meant everything to me because a lot of those kids have already graduated graduated and you're allowed to grad transfer um, and they did not grad transfer because of coach leaving or because of me coming in I think they all stuck together for each other and that's the thing that's the neatest thing for me is those guys have such a special bond and I see it every day in the locker room out on the practice field they weren't going to leave their brothers and that's why I have such a special place for those guys yeah it, it will be our first team and, and they're, you know, they were the first group that had this coaching staff. Uh, but I look at it as those guys stuck together. And uh, whether there was difficult times, great times, it doesn't matter. Those guys said, we're going to go out together. And that's pretty cool. You don't see that in college football, as many fifth-year seniors as we have here 
and, and that's a, a, it, let's credit those kids because they're the ones that stuck together. Yeah, it's definitely nice. You know, I remember being around a couple of those um, games or whatever, I think, especially like my freshman year uh, when we were struggling to make a bowl game and he hearing all those seniors say like, oh, this isn't our last game together. I'm sure that was a really tough situation for them to be in, you know. So I guess it is pretty special to know that we already have that kind of locked up um, and now we can go enjoy this last one together. But like you said, it is the last one here in Manhattan and it's going to be a pretty special moment. And I think all of us seniors, you know, want to go get this last win here at home and go send us out the right way. We know that this isn't going to be our last game because we've already qualified for a bowl. So it's a little uh, different in that regard. But at the end of the day, nothing changes. We're, we're still ready for Iowa State. Um, there might be a little bit of peace of mind just knowing that we do have another game uh, after Iowa State, but at the end of the day, people are just focused on beating Iowa State. It's a 6 p.m. kick on Saturday between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Iowa State Cyclones at Bill Snyder Family Stadium, the final game of the 2019 regular season. Stay locked in with us at GoPowerCat.com throughout the week as we'll have coverage leading up to the 2019 season finale.